The Lagos State Chamber of Commerce and Industry held the first forum on the impact of coronavirus on the Nigerian economy and had pointers on the various sectors which would be spared during the outbreak. There were three major focus areas during the forum by the Lagos Chamber of Commerce and Industry in collaboration with KPMG, which bordered around the impact of coronavirus on the health, social and economic sector. A special guest spoke on the country's readiness and possibilities to quarantine when the need arises. The key question here, um, which you and I know the answer to, is um, can our health system undo this, especially since some of these cases will need isolation? Do we have the ICU capacity, intensive care unit now, to undo the severe cases that will need intubation and what have we? However, the question is, if we have a second case, and a third case, and a fourth case, and a fifth case, how do we handle that? Well, um, I say this carefully. The probability is not tilting in our favor. Prior to now, the center had been in Southeast Asia and China, but now it's in Europe. We know the number of Nigerians in Europe, we know a lot of businessmen moving in and out of Europe to Nigeria, to the US, to Canada. That increases the probability of um, us having another imported case. Um, a lot of Nigerians in diaspora see Africa, Nigeria as a shelter of some sort. If you think you are exposed, consider self-isolation. If you do not feel you can self-isolate effectively, you might want to report yourself to the, um, the NCDC centre where facilities have been provided for managing people who, who have symptoms. So we can use some of those approaches. Um, should we stop people coming back? In most countries that have imposed a travel ban, at least they allow their citizens to come back, right? And I believe that the third index case uh, is that of a Nigerian who was returning from the UK. No, airport distinctions should not be compromised. And even if Nigerians, you know, need to be quarantined for their legs in the country, so be it. Otherwise, you pay a bigger price if they don't do it. So we saw when the first index case came into Nigeria, uh, the government was able to identify the company that the individual worked for, and that company took immediate proactive measures to protect not just their staff, but to also quarantine the uh, people that had come into contact with the index case. I think that company should be commended for acting very proactively. They also contributed to saving Nigeria from an outbreak of this pandemic. For Plus TV Africa, Omohai Isemeh.